next one we're going to be looking at another search algorithm in JavaScript called a binary search and as opposed to the linear search which we looked at in the last video this one is a little more efficient or actually a lot more efficient because it basically cuts your list in half every time it goes through it and doesn't find what you're looking for so if you don't know what a binary search is maybe do a little bit of research on it but basically just an overview it, first of all you need a sorted array so I have a sorted array here don't worry about don't worry about this code we'll go over it in a bit it takes the low the high and the middle indexes and basically if it doesn't find your item it'll it'll look in the lower half it'll look in the higher half and it'll basically chop the list in half every time it, it looks and doesn't find what it's looking for so here's imagine this is our sorted array so we've got two at the lower index 645 at the higher index it's gonna find the middle index and it's gonna say hmm is the value that we're looking for the same as the middle if it's not it's gonna look uh, it's gonna say is it higher or less than and then it's gonna look on the left if it's less than and on the right if it's greater than if it's less than it'll look on the left and if it it'll do the same thing all over again so it'll compare the middle is it less than or greater than the middle and it'll keep doing that keep chopping the list until it finds the value so let's um, you know what let's get rid of this we'll rewrite this again just so you guys can see the full process now I know it may be a little confusing now, but let's just write the code. Maybe it'll make a little more sense, hopefully. So we'll say function. We're going to create a binary search function. Let's just give it a simple binary search name. This will take a couple parameters. It'll take the array you're looking for. And it can either take a size very, uh, parameter as well, but I'm not going to do that because JavaScript has a built-in length function. So we're just going to use that. So it'll take the array and the value you're looking for. In our case, array is the array we're going to be passing in once we call this function. So we're going to need a couple uh, variables here. We're going to need the high, which is going to be the uh, length of the array, so array.length minus 1. So we're going to use that index. The low, which is easy, is always going to be the 0 index. And let's set our middle index to 0, or the middle value to 0. OK, now what we can do is create a, a while loop that's going to say while the low is less than or equal to the high basically while we still have a list so or while we still have items it's gonna chop the list every time right so if there's like nothing remaining but one uh, your low is gonna equal to the high and it'll it'll stop running this loop so while the low is less than or equal to the high keep running whatever we put inside here so let's mutate our mid and say that we want to basically find the average of the high and the low and that's going to be our midpoint so we can use a built-in JavaScript function called math.floor and we'll say high low divided by 2 and the reason we want to use math.floor is because there's not going to be like any decimal indexes right it's always going to be either 0 1 2 3 4 there's not going to be like a point you know a 2.3 uh, index you know, there, there just isn't so we can also write some uh, pseudocode here so remember the first thing that we're going to do is check to see if the middle value is equal to the value that we're looking for. So if the middle is equals to value being searched, we're done basically, right? We finished and we found what we were looking for. So I'm going to say if array mid is equals to value, open up whoops, squiggly brackets, and we can just, you know, we'll be done. Return, let's just return the... Uh, let's just return the value so whoops let's comment that out so we'll just say return array mid alright then what we can do is you have an else if another conditional and we need a condition in here so we'll say if the value is greater than the middle so if you recall from our sorted array if the value is greater than anything over here what we're gonna do is move the low which was down here we're gonna move it up one okay so we're going to take the low and take the middle and move the low up one from the middle. All right. Hopefully that made some sense. This is what it looks like. We're going to say, uh, let's just say move the low up one. So low is equals to middle plus one. So we've got a new low now. Otherwise, basically, if the value is less than the, uh, the array, the middle of the array, we can say move... Um, the high down one so high reset high to mid minus one 
And that's basically it. If it doesn't find it, we're just going to return negative 1. Okay? Basically, if, um, whatchamacallit, if your, if your value isn't in the list, it'll just return negative 1. So that's basically it. Now what we can do is, well, let's go over it just so you can see uh, one more time what, what we're doing. We're setting a high, a low, and a middle values. Now, while there's still a list to be looked through, assign the middle to the high plus the low divided by 2. If you find the value on the first shot or whatever, if, if you're the middle of the array is equals to what you're looking for, just return that. So we're done. If the value is else, if the value is greater than the middle, move your low up one, else move your high down one. Okay. And if you don't find it, just return negative one. So now we've got to actually sort our array. So we've got an array up here. It's unsorted. What we can do is we can say, uh, let's create a new variable, sorted array, or we'll just call it sorted, and we're going to say array, use JavaScript's built-in sort, and this will take a callback, and we'll say function a, b, and this is how you sort in ascending order, let's say return a minus b. Pretty simple, that'll give you a sorted array. Let's just print out this sorted array so you can see it, and then we can just call uh, our binary search function here with the array and what we're looking for let's see let's look for 645 we can call that and let's just do that right let's do that right here so let's assign it to a variable say let is or was it found I'm gonna say uh, binary search which is the name of our function so that you can see up here maybe you can see that better now that's that's annoying you can't really see so binary search sorted and let's search for, what should we search for again? Uh, 83. Let's search for 83. I was going to search for the big number, but let's search for 83. Okay. Uh, so now all we have to do is print that out. So we'll just say console log was it found. Was it found. There we go. Typo. All right. Let's clear this. And we'll say binary, run it with node, binary.js. And there we go. So our array is sorted and we're printing out the sorted array right here you don't have to do that obviously here we're console logging the sorted let's take that out for the next time we run it so printing out the sorted array and we're looking for 83 and obviously 83 is there so we're giving it back let's search for something that's not in the array let's search for I don't know 69 <laughs> whoop my phone is ringing sorry about that Jesus fuck leave me alone people so let's search for 69, and you'll see that we return negative 1 because 69 isn't in our list. Okay, so that's a binary search in JavaScript. Pretty straightforward, a lot more efficient than a linear search. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.